WestJet is pushing back against the Canadian Transportation Agency. It says it should not have to compensate a passenger if a flight is delayed by a crew shortage. The CBC's Scott Peterson is following this legal back and forth and what it could mean for customers. This is a major legal challenge by WestJet for the Canadian Transportation Agency and new rules initiated in 2019 protecting passenger rights. And for example, the CTA uh, did approve a ruling uh, saying that WestJet was uh, uh, was ordered to pay $1,000 to a flight disruption to a passenger in July over a crew shortage by WestJet. Now, according to the CTA, uh, uh, airlines must compensate passengers for any flight delays if it is with within an airline's control, not like it was an emergency or a safety issue. Now, this is a crew shortage, and the point by the CTA saying that it is within an airline's control. WestJet is taking exception to that, saying that any crew shortage is not within their control sometimes, and they're appealing this decision by the CTA. Now, consumer advocate for the public interest advocacy center says if WestJet is victorious in this, it pays away for airlines to hold back compensation on any flight delay. So these new rules, like I said, has been in existence through 2019 to protect passengers from delays in flights uh, and have some kind of compensation for them. And since May, for example, the CTA has received about 7,000 complaints totaling about 18,000 in the queue so far. So lots of interest in this legal challenge to the Canadian Transportation Agency. CBC Business reporter Scott Peterson. One of the advocates speaking out about WestJet's attempts to get out of compensating passengers is John Lawford. He says it's the responsibility of airlines to ensure they have enough crew for the flights they've scheduled and that a major reason why they're short-staffed now is because they let workers go at the start of the pandemic when it wasn't profitable to keep them. We have an airline system or air carriers who are reluctant to hire significant staff after they've already reduced it. Like during the pandemic to to not be paying people when they're not making flights right because that's saving money given the overall context of air travel in canada right now which is so painful to the traveling public i think it's just you know really not the time to be um, short staffing yourself and then relying on that to get out of even some minimal compensation to customers Consumer advocate John Lawford, he went on to say that he thinks the Transportation Act needs to be rewritten to be clearer in order to better protect Canadians.